What is going on, folks? Nate here, Tool Dino Works. We are back on the dyno today with a 21 or 22 CB1000R, and this time we have the full ST Project exhaust system installed to build custom ECU mapping for. Now, the last time we had one of these bikes up here on the dyno with a full system, it was not like this SC Project system. It was the full aero exhaust, which instead of just being essentially a four to two into one collector design, had a big old loop underneath it before it went back up to the muffler. And the reason I want to bring that up is because people have this really false misconception that one full exhaust system is going to perform nearly as well or the same as another in terms of fueling needs. That could not be further from the truth. Because while this bike makes 139, almost 140 horsepower and 75 pound-feet of torque, almost exactly like the full aero system did, the fueling needs and the actual curve of the power is radically different from one system to another. In fact, if I overlay the two systems here, you can see those significant differences. There's a huge change right here off the bottom where the full arrow with the loop kind of had a delay there. Even though the fuel mapping is still perfectly dialed in for both systems with our tuning, there's a big difference there, there's a slight difference there, there's another significant difference there, a little bit at the top, and they're pretty much the same through about this portion and this portion of the RPM range. But they are very different systems in terms of the fueling needs. And the reason why I wanted to bring this up is that because most tuners out there offering tuning for one of these bikes, or any other bike for that matter, are not going through this level of R&D that we do. They are not doing testing on multiple different exhaust systems and building custom fuel mapping for the different exhaust system, design, exhaust system designs excuse me, that are out there for each year make and model. And I wanted to take this opportunity to show you just how wrong the fuel mapping is from one system to another, which is again what you're gonna get from most other tuners out there on the market. Just for fun, when I went ahead and rolled this bike up here on the dyno this morning, I went ahead and flashed in our custom ECU mapping full the full aero exhaust system, which again, has that big loop underneath here in the collector before it goes back out to the muffler. And this is how the bike ran. Yeah, it still made 138 horsepower and 72, almost 73 pound-feet of torque, but you can see right down here, the fueling isn't even really in the ballpark. You're talking about 6, 7% too rich there, 10, 11, 12% too lean there, about 12% too rich there, about 8% too lean all through the peak portion of the torque band, which is actually where you can start hurting things if you ever get too hot and start detonating, and then a little bit too rich out there at the top end. Whereas if you have custom fuel mapping for this specific system in place, you end up with this. The peak output numbers may not change much, you know, only about one and a half horsepower and two, maybe three foot pounds of torque depending on where you're looking at, but the AFRs are now correct for the system. There's about a four foot pound of torque and three horsepower difference there, two or three there, and then about eh, three foot pounds of torque there, four horsepower, and then finally about one or two there at the very top end. But the air fuel is the important part here that I wanted to talk about. Because when you have these 12% lean or rich dips here and 8% lean spots there, that is just not going to be great for the long-term health of your engine. Obviously, the lean condition right through peak torque is about as bad as it gets. That is exactly where you do not want things to be too lean because that is where the most heat is built when the engine is at maximum load and torque. So that's when detonation is most likely to occur. So having the bike lean there is obviously not good. But on the flip side of that, where you have that 12% rich spot right around 5,000 RPMs, that is ultimately where you're actually spending the majority of the time riding the bike when you're just cruising around. And 12% too rich will slowly foul the plugs and just wear them out prematurely. So again, while the peak output numbers may not be that much different and it is Close enough in most tuners' eyes, that is not the way we do things here at Tool Dyna Works. I spend six, eight hours every single day that we're open here in this room building custom ECU mapping for all the bikes we offer support for with every intake and exhaust system we get our hands on. And we're fortunate enough to have a large enough following and a large enough local customer base here in the Pacific Northwest that even if we don't own the bike ourselves, which is the case with this CB1000, I've had several of them now roll on in with different exhaust systems so I can build custom ECU mapping for just about every different setup out there you can think of. Whereas most of the other tuners you're finding out there offering mapping for, again, these bikes and most of the other common Japanese and European models, just aren't doing that. And as I've said hundreds of times over the years, building fuel mapping is the easiest part of this job. So if most other tuners aren't even doing that part of the R&D properly, do you really think they're getting the ignition timing and the electronic throttle by wire mapping perfectly dialed in? I can guarantee you that they're not. Because even when the peak power output is close enough, I can guarantee you that the overall throttle response, performance of the bike, and ultimately your enjoyment riding it will be much better with our custom ECU mapping 
than those of our competitors. And for this customer in particular, who originally brought this bike into us bone stock, only making 121 horsepower and 66 pound-feet of torque, I can guarantee that he's now going to be absolutely thrilled to hop on this bike making 140 horsepower and 75 pound-feet of torque because the torque and horsepower improvements are really indescribable in words. The graph does it some justice when you're just looking at the lines there, but you truly cannot understand how enormous of a difference this is until you experience it properly tuned and dialed in for yourself. So if you're looking to get your ECU flashed and your bike is supported on our website under our year make and model for an ECU flashing service, then look no further. Purchase our mail-in ECU flashing service today for your bike at tooldynaworks.com. Send us your ECU. We'll get it properly flashed and tuned for your specific intake and exhaust system and ship back out to you the same day that we receive it. And I truly can guarantee that you simply will not find higher quality custom ECU mapping for your specific modifications on your specific bike if we offer support for it anywhere else. And as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to email us at support at tooldynaworks.com. I answer tech support questions every single morning myself, and I am always happy to help get your bike properly tuned and dialed in.